Hello Pisces, this is Steph at Finding You Tarot and this is your July 2023 love reading. Uh, without further ado, um, let's crack on with it. So, uh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, I've got the Six of Cups straight out. Nostalgia. Looking back. Okay. Let's see. Let's make some progress and see what else we've got. Uh, <sighs> I'm stopping myself from speaking on this because I want to see what else comes out. But... <laughs> okay, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, okay, so we've got the Page Cups. Is there anything else I want to say? Oh yeah, okay, Queen of Swords. Okay. Yeah, protection. Um nine of uh nine of wands. Anything else, spirit? Hmm, okay. Right, okay, Pisces. Oh dear. Um I've kind of got I've got two um, two narratives here in my head. One is that um, with this this six of cups with the page of cups that someone might be trying to from your past maybe um, trying to make a return. Um, they might be coming in with an apology to you, and it looks here as though. Um, with the Queen of Swords, the Nine of Wands and the Nine of Cups, that actually they really, really do need to make an apology um, because, um, you know, they've, they've, they've hardened you up. They've hardened you up. You know, they've hurt you and you your response to that has to become a much harder version of yourself with much stronger boundaries. Um, this... Yeah, this uh, you will know who this person is primarily because they did hurt you a great deal, and that was because you you saw them as a wish fulfillment. You you considered them to be that person that you were going to spend the rest of your life with, um, but um, but but yeah, but they 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 I'm just hearing pushed and pushed and pushed. They pushed and pushed and pushed you uh, to the point where. You, you had to walk away from this, but it looks like they want to come back to you. The other, um, I said I had two narratives in my head. Um, the other narrative is that this is a new relationship. This is a new person coming in, but they remind you of this past person, that they have a lot of the same characteristics. So I'll, I'll look at that as well. I don't get too to get it too complicated but but there 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 are two definite narratives that spirit are asking are asking me to, to to cover here so um okay so spirit does this person just want to apologize or do they want to reconcile what, what is this uh okay they might want they might want closure um, they, I think they're seeing things from a very different perspective now. And actually that you might, you might have gone through your pain. You might have addressed your pain. Um, and they might have buried theirs, but now they are addressing their pain. They, they can't actually get rid of it. Um, you can see these three swords here. The three of swords is about heartbreak. And actually, I think they thought that they could perhaps um, get over this a lot more quickly um, and that it didn't really matter to them. But I think they found um, they, they, that it, it does matter. It's, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's weighing on their head, their heart, and 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 their soul you know they they it's they're really i think struggling with this and 
need to find some peace within it. And so they may well be coming back to offer you some sort of truth and clarity on the situation. But this is this is for them. It's not necessarily for you. This is what, you know, they think is best for them um, and for their healing. So um, if this person has been a bit selfish in the past, then they probably haven't changed much because they're not they're not necessarily doing this because they want you know the they want this wish fulfillment that that's not why they're here um <laughs> they 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 want it because they want to feel better about themselves <laughs> and if so so you know this person is actually you know if they yeah as I say if they've been really selfish in the past if they've been all about them all about their needs all about how they feel then that would be consistent and it would mean that although they perhaps think they have done some work that it hasn't actually translated into a different way of dealing with you um, so they will always prioritize themselves so, and as I say that, the King of Swords comes out, but I would say we now have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords on the table. So we have a divine pairing. So I, I would say to you that actually I would hear them out. I would hear them out because I think it could actually give you the closure that you want as well. Um, you know, this King of Swords is very analytical. Um, he is, you know, he will... He, he's, he is not going to, you know, give you a load of flannel. So, you know, if this person wants to come in and tell you the truth, and, you know, as I say, the Ace of Swords was down is down there, the King is holding the Ace of Swords as well, then I think you, it, it would be to your benefit to, to hear them out. Um, the the fool also um, flipped over but didn't fall out of the deck so it could be that this person actually wants a new start but they're just not ready for it um, you know so so this 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 may be a sort of a tentative approach with a more long-term objective but you know you have free will I, I'm not going to tell you what you can do what you can't do here but what I'm saying is that you know, I'm getting quite strongly this person has not changed. So, you know, if they if they want a new start with you, then they're really going to have to prove it. They're going to have to prove that they deserve it. I'm hearing, you know, because they haven't ever done that before. They've never they've never deserved what you've offered them. Um, and I, I think that deep down they know that I they because they know they have something to apologize for. They know they have something to apologize for. So I would be, you know, I, I, I would keep keep your emotions at bay is what I want to say here. Um, I, I feel like, you know, this, this, I'm looking at this six of cups. This person has toyed with you emotionally in the past. You can see this, this, this boy figure is much bigger than this girl figure. So this this has been an un, a, a quite probably a really unbalanced relationship emotionally, where where you know he's he's perhaps said, oh yes 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 I love you too, you know, and and you know and not really meant it, not really thought about what this might be doing to this little girl and her feelings. It's a it's a a really you know it just feels like a this this feels like a really thoughtless energy. Um, that you've been that you've dealt with um now the so as i say what you you know you you, you can do what you want and as i look at, at the bottom of the deck it's showing me the um the lovers uh so this is a strong bond you know this is a very difficult and and probably potentially a really strong bond to break so but but spirit is asking you to to be really analytical about this to use your head over your heart and you know this person may may want closure but they they may also be considering you know resurrecting this as a relationship at some point and you know you, you need to you need to use your discernment about that because what have you seen from this person that um that the indicates that they will give you the relationship that you want 
And, and I would say from looking at these cards that actually they have behaved with you very selfishly in the past because the nine of cups can be a really selfish energy as well. And, and they've caused you a lot of hurt. Um, so I'd just be, you know, careful. If you want to give them a chance, give them a chance. If you don't want to give them a chance, that's fine too. Um, I just also, because at the, right at the beginning of the reading, um, I, I just want to touch on this, if it's, if it's a new energy. Um, so if this is a new energy that reminds you of the old energy, is that for a reason? So this is, you know, this is somebody who's, who's dealing with somebody new, um, but that they're think they are thinking, oh, I don't know, this feels this this feels like the old stuff. Um, that that can actually be very attractive because we like familiarity, but it can also, you know, if 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 we've if we've learned our lessons and the Queen of Swords certainly has learned her lessons, then sometimes that can make us feel a little bit on guard. Um, so let's just ask if if this is a new person for Pisces, what are they? What is the, what is this person's intention? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, they're in it for the long haul. You know, the emperor, there might be a bit of a stubborn energy, um, you know, which is why you might feel it's a bit, uh, a, a bit, you know, sort of um, selfish, because the emperor can be a bit of a stubborn, selfish energy. He wants what he wants, but he knows, he also knows how to get it as well. But this, this person is, is looking at their, you know, their pentacles and watching their growth. Um, and I mean, there's a, there, there is a sort of, you know, is this worth it feel to this card of, of slight impatience, but it also indicates that somebody is prepared to put some work in here because he's, he's put work in, he's just deciding whether it's worth it or not. So, you know, so, so this, this actually feels to me as though if this is a new person, that actually they will be more grounded, more reliable um, than this past person that they are reminding you of. So, you know, that it's a bit of a wait and see energy, this Pisces, but uh, certainly there is, there is potential here. Um, so um, I think Pisces, whether you are dealing with a new person or whether you are dealing with a past person, that is what I have for you. Uh, interesting reading. Um, and, you know, just, it's really just about, uh, you know, using your discernment and I think this might be a little bit of a test from spirit as to whether you have truly learned your lessons. So um, it's up to you, Pisces. Uh, I hope that helps and um, I will see you on the next one. Bye.